Hi, this is Steffi from Steffi's Beads and Baubles. I have a Michaels haul for you. I was pretty excited the other day when my husband and I were out of town and he said, is there anything else you want to do? And I said, yes, I've been hearing about all the beads on sale at Michaels, so I want to go. So this is my receipt and it would have been $128. I saved $88 and it came to $50.87 before taxes. And you can see most of it was beads. So let me show you. This is a complete jewelry haul. Let me show you what I got. This is some lava beads and this is something I've wanted to play with for a very long time. And these are a black color. All of the green were 70% off. So I got this one first, and then I got one that's a little bigger, kind of a purple. Now in person, it's actually much darker. The camera is lightening this up a lot. It is more of a medium purple. And this is a darker brown. And again, the camera, I don't know what it'll look like when the video's finished, but in person, it's coffee color. And it's very light on camera. And then I had a hard time finding really pretty purples. And this purple actually is looking pretty good on camera. Um, my husband found this one and I thought it was beautiful. So I bought two of them. And this is about, a, I'm not really sure what size, a six millimeter. I thought it was around a six. Now I thought these were pretty interesting. They're strung. I doubt I'll use it like this. I will pull them off the chain but leave the bead caps on and reuse them in earrings or wine charms or whatever I want. And I got the same one in black. These came out to $1.80 a piece, guys. That's it, $1.80 for each of these bead strings. And I don't know about you, but I love the cat eye. And these are a gorgeous cat eye. Just beautiful. And these are a bigger one. They're a 10 millimeter. beautiful and then I got one that's an eight millimeter you get quite a few more on the eight millimeter than you do the ten of course but they're beautiful and then I got this beautiful blue you can see it's a pretty long string and these are just a really cool kind of cut on the end several shades of blue it looks like they alternate dark and light blue and they're described as aqua glass, six millimeter by 11. Really pretty, very delicate. I got the same thing in a clear, but very tiny. These are actually four millimeter by eight millimeter. Again, $1.80 a card. I can always use these for my angels and earrings and different things. These are more of a traditional size. They've got the cut end instead of the true rounded end. And they're your standard size drop. I can't remember the size offhand, but they're a pretty standard larger size drop. They're just cut instead of rounded. Here's the rounded kind, but this is in a smaller one. This is the traditional smaller size that you can get on eBay and at the jewelry st uh, craft stores, I should say. Then I thought these were really, really cool. And the camera's getting them pretty good. They're kind of a frosted crackle look. Really neat. Semi-precious, it says. They are called Crystal Quartz Matte Crackle. And they look to be about a 10 millimeter. I'm talking about the angels a minute ago. I wanted some more wings. And this was $1.80 with a little teeny tiny. I mean, these are small compared to your normal drop. This is the small drop, and this is your average size drop. So these are teeny tiny. And I probably won't use anything that tiny with the wings. But I thought they were cute little beads, and it would come in handy to have them. And then I love these silver beads. I use these occasionally in my silver, I mean in my, excuse me, in my beadwork when I do Indian style or fringe earrings. And these are silver plated. And I just thought they were really pretty. My husband actually found these. And you get 60 of them. 
60 silver plated beads for $1.80. This one I couldn't believe. Look at all these beads. These are big too. These are about a 12 millimeter. Let me see. 14 millimeter. They're even bigger than I thought. Look at all the beads for a dollar eighty. I could not believe that. Usually you get like half that many of something that size. But you got all those in a beautiful rich red. And then the last bead I got was a really fun one. And I got two of them. Candy cane or, well, peppermints. Um, there was only seven per string, so I bought two strings so I'd have matched. So if I wanted to do earrings or anything, I'd have plenty for, for match sets. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but they're very pretty. Ceramic, and they're just glass, candy cane, they're called. Really, really pretty. I thought they were gorgeous. And if anyone knows me, they know that I'm going to come out with a few sequins. So I got these gorgeous hologram green in three sizes and I have a project in mind for these and then I got these absolutely clear hologram which I had never seen before they're clear with the glitter look to them really pretty and then the last thing I got I'll just show you one I got four of them are these boxes the storage boxes I store all my things in them and I've got a whole wall of them up there. So it's always handy to have a few more. I got one empty on the second shelf but the rest are all full and the bottom shelf is entirely beads. The top shelf over on this side where it says an S, those are seed beads. And they're about one, two, three stacks. All the rest of those to the last stack are all findings of various kinds and charms. The very last stack, the colorful one, those are like plastic uh, beads for kids and to do Christmas ornaments and things like that that you want a little bit lighter but faceted bead. So that was that was my last item with uh, four of these boxes and I was thrilled. It was a fun shopping trip. I made sure to not buy every single thing I wanted because I wanted to, you know, not spend a fortune like I did at Hobby Lobby. But I think I got a pretty good haul of beads here. And I'm pretty thrilled with what I got. So if you have a Michaels around you, there was still quite a bit in the store. I don't know if the sale is still on. But it's worth checking out and seeing. Because even though they were picked over, there was still about 80%, maybe 70% of the beads. Uh, there was only some holes where beads were missing, but most of them, and a lot of these are worth, you know, getting the clears. There's lots of different clears, different sizes and shapes. If you need basic beads, if you're just starting out, or you're kind of depleted and need to restock your basic, now's the time to do it when you get a sale like that. I mean, $1.80 for a bead, when these were, I believe it was $5.99. Yes, that's what the receipt says. $5.99 marked down to a dollar eighty each so i hope you enjoyed this haul and i'll be back soon with more content but i just wanted to share these goodies with you and let you know about that deal bye bye